Hey guys, Aaron here from Julie Guitars. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I model electric guitar bodies in Fusion 360. I'm actually going to be modeling a five string bass in this video, but you can use the same technique to model electric guitars as well, really any solid body Fender style instrument. So I'm gonna be showing you how I model the body as well as the fixture that I machine the part on. I'm also going to be putting a belly carve and arm contour on this model as well. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get started. This is what we're going to be modeling, which is just a jazz bass. Um, we have an arm contour here and then a belly carve as well. This does not have the corner radius on here because I find it's just much easier to do on the router table, but it does have all the pockets as well as the drill holes for the bridge and the neck. So first thing I'm gonna do is hop into a new design here. And the first thing you want to do is create a sketch. This is what's going to be the starting point for your modeling. So I'm just going to select this plane right here. And I always start with a center line. And you want to be the, make this the scale length of your guitar. So it would be 25.5 for Fender guitar. But a bass is a little bit different. I believe it's like 34 so. We'll just make that 34. I'm not gonna actually do this because I already have a DXF that I'm going to import, but the gist of it is you basically just wanna line up your bridge points um, to the base of that scale length, and then your nut should be, the edge of your nut should be at the other end of that scale length. Um, I've already talked about how to generate fretboards, and that's in my CNC neck modeling video link right here you can check out so i'm not going to go through that whole process but uh, yeah to design the guitar you can either import an image by inserting uh, canvas and then kind of draw the outline you can also get these templates from online and if you download a dxf file you can import it directly into fusion here uh, if you don't want to do that and you want to do everything in fusion 360 you can just create some splines and start modeling your guitar, um, you know, however you want to model your shape. I'm not going to do a full Fusion 360 video. probably would want to look up some beginner tutorials for Fusion 360, but you can create constraints here, and there's different tools that you can use in order to draw out your creations. So I'm just going to finish this sketch, and then I am going to delete it. So I'm actually just going to insert a DXF because I already have one for a jazz bass. And so I, I took a jazz bass design and I modified it so that it's a, a five string bass. And this was designed in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just going to click on insert mode, one sketch per layer because there's multiple layers in here for each layer from the Illustrator file. Select from my computer and then I have my body DXF right here. And I need to make sure I select my plane uh, so it knows where to place that drawing and you'll see all the different layers here so one for the body cavities pick guard neck plate i'm just going to hit okay you can see all the sketches in the left panel here and there's a few issues here like there's just some floating points because of when i was modeling this i didn't delete the, the points it's okay though they're not going to affect anything what we really care about is these different outlines so i'm going to hide a few of these and we're going to do a few simple operations here to start constructing the body. The first one is an extrude, so I'm going to select the outlines of this guitar and I'm going to extrude down negative uh, 1.75 inches. And this will be the thickness of the guitar, so most Fender solid body guitars are 1.75 inches, so I'll do that. You'll see some holes here, and these are just holes that were in my body sketch that I didn't select. So if I selected them and then did the extrude, it would in, it would fill these in, but I did not select them. So just one easier step, so I don't have to cut these out later. And then these are 3 16th inch holes that I just designed in my Illustrator file. So the next thing we're going to want to do is do the cavities. So if I click on my cavities drawing, you can see all of these here. These each have a different depth associated with them. So for a jazz bass, these two pockets are 0.75 inches deep. So I'm going to extrude and move these down 0.75. And if you look at the right panel here, uh, if you select uh, one of these different operations, it'll do different things. So I could either create a new body, I could join these intersections together. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna cut out the body and it should auto select the object to cut, but 
if you don't have this selected here, it won't actually cut out of your main body. So make sure to have that selected. Um, and then everything else should be okay. As long as we have those two profiles set, we'll do another one. And it always, um, hides the sketch after you do an extrude. So I just want to make sure to show that again, we're going to do another one on the pocket. So I'll select these two areas. This part right here is just for the spoke nut. So I need another little cavity for the spoke nut to sit in that section. So I'm gonna do another extrude here. And usually for Fender style guitars, the neck pocket is 0.625, which is 5 eighths inch. I'm gonna make it slightly less though because I want the neck to sit a little higher. So I'm just gonna do a negative 0.6 inch. And then sometimes you'll get this little these little artifacts here where if you did this in like Illustrate or something, your pockets might not line up exactly perfect, but we'll take care of those in a second. And then I'll do one more here for this last cavity. And this is for the electronics. I'm gonna do this at 1.25. Okay, now let's go and fix this geometry. So I'm gonna hide the sketch. And then all I have to do is just select that face and delete it. And then there's a couple more faces right here. I'm gonna delete and I'll just select that and delete it. And then come over here and select this and delete it. Okay. So then now I have some better looking geometry. The next part will be extruding the holes for the bridge. So let's just go to the bridge hole section and then we'll click on one of them and do an extrude. This will be an inch deep. So I'll just do minus, oops, minus one inch. And then we'll hold shift and select all five of those holes for one inch depths. Okay, and before we do the, the contours on this shape, I'm just gonna create a simple fixture that we can use um, to do the machining for the body. So I'm gonna create a new sketch and we'll make it on this um, Z plane here. And we're gonna create a, a rectangle and I'm going to center it over the origin here. So let's just create a rectangle and a center rectangle. I'm just gonna make this size as the size of the blank that I need to create this guitar. And then I'll just make this 22 inches long. This will be the size of our body blank. Our body blank is going to sit on a fixture. So we need to make the fixture larger than the size of the blank. So I'm going to create another uh, centered rectangle in this sketch. And I'll just make it an arbitrary size larger. So maybe we'll do, 18 inches wide, and it'll do 26 inches long. Next, we're going to make a center line that we'll use to center um, this body blank on the fixture. So I'm just gonna hide my body so I don't have to look at it while I'm doing this. And then I am going to select the line and just draw a line from this point to this point. And then finally, I'm going to round some of these corners just so I know which one is my origin point when we uh, set up the cam for this. So I'm going to select this one and we'll just give it a 0.5 inch radius. And I'll just repeat that operation on the other few sides here. And now let's create a part for this fixture. So if I hit finish sketch, I can show that sketch that I just created. And I'm going to extrude the entire piece for the width of the MDF material that I'm going to make this out of. So let's just call this 0.75. We'll make it negative 0.75. And it's not showing the body because I hid the bodies here. Um, I'm just going to hide the guitar. And then we're going to go back into our sketch. And I want to basically just add a little recess here for the body blank. So if we select this rectangle right here and then we do a modify extrude and we select thin extrude let me just clear my selection. We can select this rectangle. We wanna make sure it's on one side of the profile plane. We're gonna make the wall thickness 0.125 inches, so 1 8 inch, and then we're also going to make the, the depth uh, negative 1.25 as well. That's 1 8 inch. And then if we zoom in here, we can see that it's um, cutting out that section on the inside of the line. So we'll just make sure the wall location is set to side two so that's on the outside. I'll hit okay. So now we have our fixture. 
The last thing we'll need to do is add locating pins. So I'm going to go back into this sketch and edit the sketch. Now let's create two diam er, uh, center diameter circles here, and then we'll make sure they're one inch from the edge, and then we'll just set these at 0.625, so 3 eighths inch dowel pins. We'll do one here, and then we'll do one on the other side. And actually, to make sure that these are exactly centered over that center line, I'm just going to add a constraint. So if I add another one here and make this 0.625, I can add the symmetry constraint. So I'll select this one, this one, and then that center line to make sure they're symmetrical over the center line. And I'll hit Finish Sketch. And then now I will inset these into that fixture by, let's say, 0.5 inches. And we'll make sure that it's negative too so it cuts out of the fixture. And we'll hit OK. Now we're going to create our stock for the jazz base. So let's uh, hide the body. And then we will go and select extrude again. Now let's select all of these uh, parts in the sketch. So everything on the inside of the this rectangle here. And then we'll do a negative 1.75 inch extrude, which will generate uh, basically the the body blank wood that we're going to mill this part out of. And then we'll just hit OK. So let's go and rename some of these so we know what they are. So this will be uh, jazz base body. This next one will be bottom fixture. And then this one will be the blank. So the next thing we're going to have to do is move the bottom fixture so that it's actually on the bottom of the guitar. And then we're also going to have to make sure that the guitar is centered within this as well. So let's just take the fixture and the blank and we're going to move them so that they're centered on the guitar. Move this forward and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just You wanna make sure that it fits within, the body fits within this uh, body blank. And you'll see here, um, we do have some pins that are a little close to the side here. If you wanted to, you could change your sketch and move them forward just a little bit. This should be fine though. We'll have plenty of room between this point and the body. So I think I'm just gonna leave this, but if you wanted to, you can move them forward so that they, don't, they aren't too close to the body for when we machine this. So I'll just hit okay. And then the next thing I need to do is move this bottom fixture so that it's um, the corner of this point is at the bottom of the, the blank that we're gonna mill this out of. So I'm just gonna click on the, body fix, the bottom fixture and then I'll hit move point to point. So we wanna move, and we'll just hide the sketch here so we don't have to see it. We'll move the origin point, which is the top of the fixture here, and we'll move it to this point down here. Now we need to set up the fixture for the flip. So I'm going to duplicate the bottom fixture and I am going to rotate this 180 degrees. And now I'm going to move the points again so that they match up to the proper locations. So I'm just gonna click move, select point to point, origin point will be this point right here. And I wanna move it to this point. So now we have two fixtures which sandwich a body blank and the bass guitar that we're going to mill. Okay, so then let's rename this fixture and we'll just call it the top fixture. And I'm just gonna hide all of those components that I just created. Let's add some arm contours and belly carves. First thing I'm gonna do is create a sketch and the sketch should be on the top surface of the, plane, uh, the guitar. So I'm just gonna click anywhere on the top of the guitar and then I'll click uh, P on the keyboard for project. And then I'm going to project the outer portion of the guitar here. For me, I already have this line drawn. If you don't have one of these drawn for where that arm contour should start, you could just uh, hit OK. It just hit this line and then I can just create a line between two points on the outline of the guitar that I just projected. And if you've done it right, it should fill in that area with this semi-transparent blue. We'll finish the sketch. And now I am going to hide my body sketch just so it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm going to construct a plane along path and I'll select that line that jo joins the two parts of the outline of the guitar. And you wanna line this up so it's about center in that area. I'll hit okay. 
Now I'm going to create another sketch on this plane. First thing I'll do is create a line that is parallel to the um, XY axis. I'll hit OK. And then I am going to right click on this line. Sorry, I'm going to go back to select and then I'll right click on this line and create a construction line. And now I'm going to create a arc, a three point arc starts at that point where the line starts ends somewhere down here and it doesn't matter where you put the third spot. Now we will select this line. We'll go up to the tangent constraint and then we'll select our construction line. So this will just make it tangent with that, uh, parallel construction line here. Now we can take this point and move it around however we want, and this will basically uh, affect how our arm contour looks. So we'll just hit finish sketch. And then the last thing we need to do for this is create a sweep. So our profile will be this line that we created here. And then our path will be that, uh, that arc that we created here. And you can already see um, that we've created a small arm contour here. So now if I show the sketch again and I move this point around, it will actually affect how that arm contour looks. So if you want to make it really drastic, you could just drag this way down here. Or if you want to make it really shallow, you can pull it up. So I'm going to do it about there, and I think this looks good for me. Okay, so for the belly carve, I'm going to go to the back of the guitar, and I'll click on the back of the guitar as my plane. I'll hit P for project and then I'll select a um, few points along the outline of the guitar. And you want to make this as long as your belly carve is going to be. So about from here to this point here. So I just selected a bunch of segments um, just so I have enough to fill that space. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to create a spline, a control point spline, and just start basically creating the shape of my belly carve. So maybe it'll start about here, it'll come out here, and then I'll go down here, and then maybe end about here. Uh, and you can, after you've created this, you can kind of manipulate the points. So if you don't like that shape, you can move things around and make it fit a little bit better. So maybe I want it to be a little closer to this horn and then come out a little bit more. You can do that. I think this looks good. So I'll just say finish sketch. We're gonna do the same process here. So basically I just wanna create a plane along this path. So again, I'm just gonna line this plane up so that about along the center of this line, I think it works best when it's about the widest portion uh, of area between the outline of the guitar and your belly carve path here. So for me, it's I'd say about here. I'm just going to hit OK, and now let's create one more sketch. For this one, we don't need to create a construction line. We're just going to create a line. So we'll start at that center point, and then we'll just bring it out to about here. This is going to be the angle of your belly carve. So you don't want to make it too drastic, and you don't want to make it too shallow. You can adjust it later, but we're just going to put it about here. We'll hit Finish Sketch. Let's do one more sweep. We'll select the profile as this area right here, and then our path will be that line that we created. And there you have it. Now we've created a nice belly carve. And the nice thing about this is you can go back and do both of these sketches and adjust the features as needed. So if I wanted this more of a deep belly carve, I could bring this line down here or I could pull it up. Then if I want to edit the shape of that belly carve, I can go back into my other sketch and just move some of these points around. So you can see how it affects the shape. So I learned how to do this process from a guy called um, Austin Shainer. I'll link his channel down below. He has a bunch of great videos about CNC and guitar modeling. So if you're interested in more types of these videos, go check out his channel. And now that we have this base body, I'm going to be doing some machining on it. So in the next video, make sure to check out how I do all the cam tool paths in order to cut this body out on my CNC router table. And if you want to see how I've done necks for guitars, make sure to check out my video on how to build a CNC neck. That's it for this one. If you've enjoyed, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.